Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Today's video is all about Emma's slippers. Yes, I have finished Emma's slippers. The slippers she requested. So let's get started. If you watch Free Pattern Friday in June, I showed you a pattern that she had picked for some slippers she wanted, but she didn't want the badges on the side. And this is what I was going to do. However, the smaller size was still too big for her. And no matter how many times I tried, I couldn't adapt it to be smaller. However, subscriber and very good friend Janet Lepre came to my rescue. She recommended a, tutor a tutorial on these Converse slippers or Converse lookalike slippers that she had made for her grandchildren. And she sent me a photo of the slippers she made for her grandchildren. And I did show Emma's arm Doreen and she said, they're perfect. They actually look like real Converse. Well, mine aren't that good. But anyway, I did make them because the smaller size was the perfect measurement. So they're, I think the tutorial is by Stephanie Z, and it's four sizes of Converse lookalike slippers, small, medium, large, extra large. And I made the small. Now, they're not perfect because I did hit a few snags and my planning wasn't great. I'll show you, I'll show you one. That's my dog outside. He gets pretty noisy when the kids are out. I hope he stays quiet long enough. Here we go. That's the slipper stuffed with some stuff so you can see it better. And then I'll show you the other one because I want to explain what I did. So when talking to Doreen, we, Emma's confined to a wheelchair and the plate where she puts her feet can get quite cold. So what I did after discussing it with Doreen is I made two soles per shoe and in between each sole, I put wadding and then I crocheted the two soles together. The wadding is glued, so hopefully it won't move, but it has made it nice and thick and a little cushiony so that the cold doesn't come through from the plate on her wheelchair. Now, originally the plan was to make them with the lighter bottom and the darker top, and Emma wanted purples and lavenders with black glitter yarn. I couldn't get black glitter, I had to settle for grey. So the bottom is um, the colour violet, and this is purple by um, Spotlight Super Saver Yarn in 10 ply. Won't be a moment. Sorry, a lot of air traffic because we have the US military air force doing maneuvers off the coast and the airport's not that far away and we live on the coast. So it can get quite noisy. 4.30 this morning, I had some big aircraft wake me up. Um, I don't mind because it's good for the economy, but um, a lot of people race outside to see what they are. I'm just not that keen about aircraft. Anyway, Emma's slippers. So the plan was light bottom, dark top. However, I was so busy rushing and shopping my stash, I didn't check to see if I had enough purple yarn of the dark purple for two shoes. And when I realized I was going to run out, I stopped at a point and then I put the glitter row of gray. And the glitter is date night in the color hematite. So it's gray, it's gray with a pinky glitter and I had to double this up to get the four ply because this is a, it does say four weight but it's really thin. There's no way. That was like a three weight. So I doubled that up. I actually picked this up as a bargain for three dollars. They were throwing this particular color out on sale, a spotlight. So I decided I'd buy some pur more purple dye lots. That's the color I bought. That's the purple I was using. Yes, that is the new purple. Look at the color difference. They've gone a lot lighter on the colors. They're not as rich. I don't know if this sort of economic cutback. Actually, that purple doesn't impress me at all. I really like this color. So when I bought this to finish the shoe off, I thought it's going to be so funny. So then I decided I'd just use more violet and halve them with the glitter row. And then I put glitter in the shoelaces. So my problem is 
I worry about all the joins in something like this. I'd rather not have as many joins. And the date night on the inside, although there's not much of it, it it's quite coarse. So she'll have to wear some sort of thin sock with them because she has very sensitive skin and I am worried that that will rub. But we will find out later this week if they fit her and if she likes them. Because if they fit her and she likes them, she wants 12 more pairs. I would make them again, but she's not getting 12 pairs out of me. They were really hard on my hands. I don't know why. But boy, I am really pleased. I had them on a box on the table, a shoe box on the table, when Reeves first saw them. And he said, they actually look like real shoes. So that was the look I was going for from a distance. So hopefully when Emma gets them and if they fit her and she likes them, I'll have a photo on the Facebook group page and Instagram showing off her slippers. But I really enjoyed it and I must thank Janet Lepre for pointing me in the right direction with that tutorial. The tutorial is brilliant. It's got nothing. I have no issues. I may, the second pair I may do the eyelets a little different, not so many, but yes, it is a great tutorial. If you want to make a pair of Converse lookalike slippers, check out the link. It'll be in the description below. We have another plane coming, won't be a moment. So my next finished object is Bod Hatapalooza. Yes, this week's hat for Bod Hatapalooza, a beanie. Now, when it came out, I went, oh no, bobble stitch, but I actually like it. Now, I have quite a bit of this yarn. It is Spotlight Super Saver print. And when I bought it, I really liked it. But other than baby things or outfits, I couldn't really work out what I would use it for until I saw this tutorial. Now, Crystal at Bag A Day, it's Candy Vision, hashtag 532. Link will be in the description below. Here is my Bod Hatterpalooza Candy Vision. I really like it. Hers is a much richer colour in the tutorial, but I actually think this yarn worked out great for it. And being 100% acrylic, I can donate it to Farnell's Queensland Crochet for Cancer because we can only um, donate acrylic items. There you have it. Candy Vision. I do like it a lot. And I'm not even going to put a pom-pom or anything on it. I just think it's sweet the way it is. So that was last week's hat. Because today, I think, maybe later today, comes this week's hat. I'm getting confused. The days are just blending into each other. My last finished object to share with you. I finished Trixie the Travelling Snake. Yes, she's actually the temperature snake from Yarn Vacation. Now I did Trev the Travelling Snake, who had all the colours of the places we visited, and then I did Trixie, who had the high and lowest temperatures of all the places we visited. I was going to give her eyelashes to make her look more feminine, but when I did them, I didn't like them. And her tongue is a bit floppy, but she's turned out pretty cute. And considering I didn't think I'd like making a snake, I'm really addicted to this. I think they're great. They're a great gift. And the other thing is, if you make them long enough and you have drafty doors under the bottom, you can use them as door snakes up against your doors. I can't, because whenever Saxon, my dog, sees her, he tries to steal her. He really likes her. He's not keen on Trev, but he's kind of keen on Trixie. So the pattern I used, I may have said before, is Crochet Boa Snake by Up Summers Creations. It came out in 2019. It's free on Ravelry. And there you go. She made two snakes in the pattern. I made two snakes. I like it because it's not just straight crochet. It's front loop, front loop. Yeah, it turns out it can be quite different. I made this in Spotlight Marvel 8-ply scraps and some other 8-ply scraps. However, if I was to make it again, I would stick to one brand of scraps because that is Stylecraft along there and it's turned out thinner and it's got nothing to do with the stitch count or the stuffing. It's the actual yarn, although 8-ply is thinner than our Marvel 8-ply. So... 
tip for the snake use one brand of yarn in that particular weight but she's okay she's turned out really well so that's my three finished objects all the prizes for yarn vacation have been claimed and are on their way there'll be one last one on its way this week the vouchers are bought um, one gift from um, another giveaway went to India and I'm going to be sending a gift to USA for our major prize winner of a yarn vacation. She, I did a gift voucher and I'm sending a little gift from Australia, which is what I did last year. So thank you everybody for participating in yarn vacation. It was a lot of fun. And when I reviewed everything, it was open worldwide. USA, UK, India, Australia, New Zealand. Prices went everywhere. So that's really great. It, it makes me feel that all my subscribers are benefiting from partaking in the make-alongs. Which brings me to, I have a Facebook group make-along for those people who continually posted lots of pictures for Yarn Vacation. You can win a $25 gift voucher, Christmas in July AU. All you have to do is post a picture of a finished project you made in July. So not, it doesn't have to be a Christmas gift or a Christmas project, it can be anything. The idea of being Christmas in July is that I'm going to give someone a gift of a $25 gift voucher. So far, we only have one picture posted. So guys, don't forget to post your pictures in the Facebook group for Christmas in July and I will do a random draw for a $25 gift voucher on the 1st of August. Now you can become a member of the Facebook group, it is a private group, there's a link in the description below for you to check out, a link to the boa pattern, boa to hapalooza, the, the slippers, everything, all in the description below. So if you want to find something out and check it out and give it a go, please just check down there. It's been a lot of fun making the slippers for Emma, a lot of fun doing the snake. I was losing my Crojo. Today I got inspired by watching another video, which I'll talk to you about next time. Okay guys, stay safe, stay well, and give making a snake a go. You will enjoy it and it will use up a lot of scraps if you make it a scrappy snake. Bye for now.